A man found a QR code on his wife's back, scanned it, and after 10 years of marriage finally discovered the terrible truth about her. A man named Zhang Zimin is going on a business trip for a month. His caring wife Han Lin packs his things in a suitcase. A woman is worried that the flight will be too long and her husband won't be able to get enough sleep on the plane. Han Lin reminds Zimin to take his pills. Then, she ties her husband's tie. Zimin tells his wife that he won't be able to be with her for their wedding anniversary because of his business trip. Han Lin seems distant and doesn't let him kiss her. Zimin gets into a taxi to the airport and bids a dry farewell to his wife. As soon as the car pulls away, Han Lin's expression immediately changes. With a serious face, she pulls out a business card and dials a number. On the first morning in another city, Zimin wakes up with another woman. As she sleeps, Zimin examines her back and notices a QR code tattoo. At this moment, he gets a call from Han Lin. Zimin goes into another room and makes up a story for his wife about a late night business meeting yesterday. But suddenly, Han Lin says that she was the one who has sent this woman to him. Zimin can't believe his ears. This is what happened last night. The man was already asleep when he suddenly heard a persistent knock on the door. He reluctantly approached the door and saw a girl applying lipstick through the peephole. Zimin thought she was trying to get into the wrong room and went back to bed. But the girl continued to ring the bell persistently. Then he opened the door and asked the girl to go away. But she only reproached Zimin for not opening it for a long time, and entered his room with a suitcase. The girl took out a nightgown from her suitcase and went to the bathroom to change. When she returned, the girl said that she was Zimin's wife. The man felt like he was going crazy, but the girl indeed looked like Han Lin. She immediately threw him onto the bed and tried to seduce him. Zimin honestly shares all of this with his wife in a phone call, apologizes and assures that he was not planning on cheating on her. But, in a detached voice, Han Lin asks her husband not to blame himself, since the girl in bed is actually her copy. To figure it all out, Zimin needs to scan the QR code on the girl's back. As a farewell, Han Lin wishes her husband a good time. After that, bewildered Zimin quietly approaches the sleeping girl and scans her QR code. This is how he learns that Han Lin, with the help of the Limit Company, created a complete biological copy of herself for him called Han Lin 001. This clone will accompany Zimin for a month until he returns home to his real wife. The girl wakes up. She looks younger and more beautiful than the real Han Lin. The man loves it. The couple goes for a drive. Han Lin 001 proves to be an excellent driver, unlike Zimin's real wife. Afterwards, young people go to a seafood restaurant. Han Lin 001 loves this kind of food, even though the real Han Lin is allergic to seafood. That is why Zimin had to lie to his wife that he was also allergic to it, so that Han Lin wouldn't have to cook food for him separately. It turns out that Han Lin asked the company to get rid of her clone's allergies, so that Zimin could take the clone to his favorite restaurants. The couple has a great time, they have fun and are comfortable with each other. They take a bath with rose petals, dance on the windowsill and admire the beautiful view of the city. When the month comes to an end, the lovers go to a restaurant. In a beautiful evening dress, Han Lin gets up from the table and tells Zimin that she has a surprise for him. She negotiates with the musicians and says into the microphone that she will now perform a song for her husband. Han Lin 001 singing captivates Zimin. He films the girl's performance on his phone. Later, Zimin plays the song on his phone and asks Han Lin 001 for a dance. The girl declares in sorrow that her lover is going home tomorrow, and hugs him tightly. It hurts Zimin to part with Han Lin 001 too, because she is perfect. In the evening, he takes Han Lin 001, tired and drunk, to his hotel room. The girl sings a song about love and quickly falls asleep. Zimin carefully takes off her shoes. He then drinks the last pill that his real wife gave him. Zimin checks his phone and sees a message from Limit. It says that company representatives will pick up the clone tomorrow at 9 a.m. They ask Zimin to leave the room before then. The man calls the specified number and listens to the message. The answering machine once again informs that the bionic copy has the same biological features as the body of the original. If Zimin likes the copy better than the real Han Lin, Limit can take the body of his real wife instead, and keep the copy alive. To do this, Zimin needs to press O on the phone. If he wants to keep the real Han Lin and kill her clone, he needs to press C. Zimin is astonished by how tough the choice he has to make is. After some deliberation, he chooses to keep the real Han Lin alive. The morning comes. Zimin gets ready quickly and quietly, so he wouldn't wake up Han Lin 001. He looks at the sleeping girl and leaves the hotel. Once he's in the taxi, Zimin sees men in suits forcing Han Lin 001 into their car. The girl gives Zimin a helpless look. Confused, the man leaves for the airport. The plane lands safely in his hometown. In a taxi on the way home, Zimin watches the video of Han Lin 001's performance for the last time. The man smiles and, with a heavy heart, deletes this reminder of his perfect lover. Then Zimin enters the house and calls for his wife, but no one comes out to meet him. 
Confused, he searches for Han Lin and decides to call her. Nobody picks up the phone. The man sits down on the sofa in the living room and finds a note in which his wife reminds him to take his pills. He likes that Han Lin cares about him. Zimin takes the pill and notices a stack of letters on the table. Among them, he finds a postcard from Hawaii. The postcard is signed with Zimin's name and addressed to the real Han Lin. He writes that he is dreaming of meeting his lover on a paradise island as soon as possible. Zimin can't believe what he's seeing. He gets a bad headache, and everything becomes a blur. The man realizes that his wife has also created his clone that she spent the whole month with. Now Han Lin is most likely in Hawaii, too. Zimin falls down on the floor. Men in suits, similar to those who took Han Lin 001, immediately enter the house. They lift Zimin up to his feet and put him in their car. The man sits by the window and can't understand what is happening. Finally, either in reality or in delirium, he sees Han Lin with a man who looks like himself. The lovers hold hands and walk around the city cheerfully. The real Zimin screams in the car in despair and helplessness, while his wife tells the clone a funny story and laughs. Thank you.